What's going on everybody? Welcome back to GMI's World and now we're about to do a complete overhaul of the squad. It all happened when we ended up getting Joe Montana, aka Joe Montagna, and we realized he was so much better than Tim Tebow. A lot of you guys were making fun of Tim Tebow. You guys are like, yo, G, he's praying for his job. He's doing a lot of things like that. Look, bro, it's not about that. The problem is we got to go with what works for us. And he's able to throw the ball so much more accurately than Tim Tebow. And that's ultimately what we're looking for. Another thing that we're doing is we're going to be getting uh, getting rid of all the Way what is it, the Wayfarer crew. All these dudes are gone. All right, because now that we got a raid sell Tim Tebow, it actually makes no sense to keep those other guys. So we're going to get rid of these dudes, all right, and we're going to sell whatever we could sell. It doesn't matter. Um, they didn't really add a lot to the entire lineup anyway, and it made it very, very difficult for us to otherwise get players on the squad that really helped us out uh, with keeping certain, you know, chemistries and abilities or whatever, you know, whatever that went into the actual lineup. So all these guys need to be gone. So let me just count it out. That's one, two, three, four, five. And then the six was Tebow. So now with getting rid of all of those guys, right? We're going to sell them as well, but that's not what this is about. We're going to add back um, some of the other legends that we otherwise had to take out before simply because we had no space for them because of the whole legend situation. All right. Also with the backup middle linebackers, we're going to now put those linebackers in uh, that were legends that we couldn't have in there before. So this guy's going to go over here. Why doesn't he have his, um, he should have his uh, legend cam on him as well. Why doesn't he have that? He was one of the guys that we got earlier on that had legends cam. So we'll add that back. Now we're jumping up to 42 or 40. Now we keep that going because remember the um, ultimate legend O-line, that is important. There's certain things that are important that you have to do. Other things, not so much. So we don't really need to worry about too much. Does it, Okay, this guy gets all the team's chem. He just doesn't get legends chem. All right, here goes middle linebacker, uh, Willie Lanier. So we'll add him back into the lineup as well to kind of like bolster it up. All right, so this is going to actually boot us out of the game again. Um, there is a bug in the game, just so you guys know. You're going to see it happen now where you'll see the bottom right where it's like loading for a while and then it'll boot you out of the game. It usually happens when you're going through your lineup or making adjustments. Will EA Sports actually do something about it probably not i don't think that we'll get another update that's going to fix that but it's nothing wrong with your game it happens several times uh when you're trying to put players in you know it's going to be bugs dude they need to get raid spray and just go through the whole uh ea office bro because there's just so many bugs everywhere but either way we have to be smart enough to figure it out because they're not going to help us with those situations all right because we find out these things way before they even discover it um so here it goes right here we're going to add willie lanier in all right, if he decides to go in. All right, it does it again. All right, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to actually have to, after they boot us this time, I'm going to have to put somebody else in a position first and then go back and put Willie Lanier in because what's going to keep happening is it's going to keep booting us. So we're going to actually put another player in and then that should actually help the situation. It's always one way or another uh, when it comes to this game. So a lot of people... Um, in that regard, they have situations where it's like, yo, gee, I don't understand why this is going on. I'm trying to get into a challenge. It's telling me I have too many X factors. Those bugs and stuff like that, it's been going on for at least two, three years. And, it, and I, like I said, do I see a, 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 any chance of it getting fixed soon? I do not, if you're asking my personal opinion. Um, so let me see, what, what other corners do we have as backups? Because realistically, we don't really need to have a legend there um, if we don't have one available, hold up. Does Bo Jackson get? Does Bo Jackson get cornerback him, or do they only give him free safety? Let, let me let me check this out real quick. He might. Yeah, he doesn't get another chemistry. Uh, we could take him out. Um, no, it has nothing to do with uh, coding. He's not coded. Uh, it happens with any card. And then that's what happens. A lot of people just start saying stuff when they don't know anything about Madden. Oh, it's a coding issue. No, it's not. Um, every every card, no matter what card I'll be trying to put in right now. It would be an issue but after you go and do something else it would work out so that's why i try to tell you guys what are bugs and what are not because a lot of people that just don't know anything about madden they won't stop speaking you know what i'm saying bro it gets like oh bro this is why it is no it's not and you guys got to understand a lot of things are just bugs in the game where no matter what you do it's going to happen so you just have to be able to figure it out as you go along all right so look this is what we're going to have to do right we don't really have a need to actually have uh, Keith Taylor Jr. where he is anymore. We could actually put him into the actual lineup. So because of that, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to put him in right there. Okay, so now it's still doing the same thing when we were just able to put the other guy in. 
Now it's doing that again, where it's loading at the bottom right. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take Keith, uh, Keith Taylor Jr. out of his regular position because we were actually sneaking him in because of all the bugs that were going on with the game right now and all the stupidness. And we were throwing him in on special teams and then starting him afterwards. What I'm going to do right now is actually put him into the lineup because we won't have any issue with the actual um, the lineup anymore because we got rid of the other players. So we'll be good right now uh, with the way our team is because we're not going to be trying to like figure out how to get a player in and all that stuff. And then ultimately we'll go back and raid sell Tim Tebow. All right, so let's go back in there and let's see if EA Sports will have a little bit of mercy on our soul and allow us to put our subs in. All right, so they won't let us do that right now. Um, and we try to do the other thing. So let me uh, let me remove him from the lineup, right? I'm going to remove him from the lineup. That He should be able to just go out of there, right? Joe Perry is on kickoffs with Bo Jackson. Uh, I'm going to take Champ Bailey out of this spot, and I'm going to actually put Keith Taylor there. And then we're going to... Why? why okay, no, th just for that position. Is, is it going to load, or is it still not loading? It's still not going to let us get in there. Bro, is, is EA Sports actually serious right now? They're just not letting anybody get into the game? Okay, so EA Sports right now, you honestly can't really do much with the way that everything is. And I don't, I don't really know why EA is doing, because I've never seen it happen this often with the way that they're doing it right now. It's kind of stupid, but maybe it's a bug that they might try to fix. Um, I don't, yo, I've, I've never seen it happen this much in any individual uh, situation. So yeah, to be quite honest, I don't know what the hell they're doing. I think it's kind of bugged out, but we're, we're definitely gonna um, sell Tim Tebow. So what I'll do so that that just doesn't keep happening is I'll just go through it and show you what we're gonna do. So we're gonna move this guy, Champ Bailey. We're gonna put Keith Taylor there, right? We're gonna put Champ Bailey back here, and we're gonna throw Harold Carmichael back there. We're gonna add in another legend right there in that situation, and we're gonna add another middle linebacker right there. All right, just so that you guys know what it is, because I'm not gonna keep like going back through it and let you guys see it over and over again. You guys pretty much, you know, get the gist of what we're doing. Um, so I'm not gonna keep doing that and um, you know having to go through that situation. So objectively. Timothy Tebow is off the team. I think that this will still work. We won't have an issue with getting rid of Tim Tebow because, you know, like I said, Joe Montana's playing pretty well right now. I really don't uh, see any situation where we should keep him. It just doesn't make any sense to keep Timothy Tebow right now. So yes, uh, people are screaming no in the chat. No, no Tebow. Yeah, Tebow, you're gone. Uh, I know it seems unfair that the guy never really gets a chance to like succeed, but when other dudes come along, that's better. You know, like, you know, Peyton Manning ruined his life. Why is he 681? Yo, what the... E okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Everybody knew this dude was garbage and didn't say anything about it? How did his price drop that low so quickly? Dude, what the... E okay, 697. All right, we'll sell him for 675. 675 is cool. We'll take 675 for him. And that's the revamping up of the squad. Uh, the next time that we go, like you guys see a GMI's World video, I will have updates once we're able to actually go through and figure out what's going on with everything else. And then, um, you know, we'll be able to assess what the team is right now. But I would urge you guys to go through your lineup and kind of see if you want to try Joe Montana. I think he's one of the most accurate QBs. Basically, like the way he throws the ball is really impressive. It, it Like he's 6'2". His release is not super fast, but it's still really good. It's, it is still really good. So uh, the 87 speed, I ran a couple of read options with him. Wasn't that bad. Uh, obviously, Tim Tebow's a lot faster. But again, he's the reason that I'm doing this whole shakeup because I really don't need those other you know situations to be going on within the team. The next thing that we're going to have to do as well is raid sell all of the other... Um, I got to actually lock this dude because we're you know this guy's probably going to be part of a giveaway. One, if, if EA decides to uh, open up the uh, trade block, that dude's going to definitely be... Uh, one of the players that we're going to give away. Um, so we'll figure that out as well. Uh, Air McNair, we're going to lock him. More than likely, if the trade block opens up, we'll go ahead and give him away as well. Um, next thing that we have to do, and, and I would encourage you guys to do this as well, if you're struggling to have the separate chemistries, just get rid of certain players. So we're going to look for the Wayfarers, and I'll let you guys see what we're going to be doing with that. Any one of these players that are auctionable, sell them. All right, and we'll be doing the same. And that's pretty much going to be the wrap-up. We're getting rid of these guys, and I honestly don't care. Let me know what you guys are doing. If you feel that this was the right move, I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. You enjoy your day. Stay well. Stay blessed. Until next time, one love, y'all.